West Virginia is pretty mountainy, so the water's only got one place to go, and that's down. And uh, you know, it's it's devastated a lot of lives. Uh, you know, I, I've heard stories of people losing their lives. It's been pretty bad. Today, Florida State donated nearly 1,900 pieces of equipment to West Virginia high schools that were affected by the devastating floods back at the beginning of the month. Back in hometown of Coach Fisher and Coach Tricky, you know, it's just helping out other little kids that's aspiring to reach their dream of becoming a Division One athlete. And then I heard we heard that there was a flood and that washed away all the equipment. So why not give our equipment that we don't use to those and help them succeed their goal? Our hearts and our condolences go out to them. And, uh, you know, we'll figure out any way just to help them, you know, especially with, uh, you know, football is our heart. So with the cleats, the equipment, and everybody out here, you know, uh, just, just to give them some stuff, you know, some encouragement, and, you know, uh, some equipment so they can still play football. And when our kids heard about it, they jumped right out. Anything to help. I'm telling you, we got great kids on this team, just like the, the, the Live for Life and all those things. And then what they're doing here, just being able to help so many people that are less fortunate than they are right now. We have great kids, and I'm very proud of them for doing it. Once we were able to go up here and see the people and stuff and the devastation, it makes it all worth it, man, It's because uh, it it's really bad. The Seminoles had helped throughout the state, having 22 high schools donate over 1,500 pieces of equipment. Well, that's one thing about the game of football. It brings everybody together. It doesn't matter if you're in California or Texas or where, you know, it, uh, it's a tough man's game. And that's why I like doing it, because everybody up here is calling West Virginia tough, and they are tough people, and uh, they'll get through this. And, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just happy we were able to do something. You know, for healing process, where those great tragedies happen, I think athletics is a big part of that. For those families to be able to go out there three hours a night, just relax on a Friday night and watch their kids play and know everything's going to be all right eventually, I think it was very important. And to get these kids back to some normalcy. All the outside help means, means a lot to the people from West Virginia.